Hello, hello darlings. Welcome back to Idrish Alamad, where I share all things, sorry, where I share all things fabulous. I hope you guys are doing well and I hope your new year has started off well. So welcome. If you're new here, my name is Idrish and I love fashion, beauty and lifestyle. If you're not subscribed yet, babe, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, TikTok as well. So I am back doing uh, my fashion series where I will be talking to you guys about how to find your style, how to create your capsule wardrobe, how to look expensive, how to elevate your look, even your daily wear, okay? I'm going to be showing you key elements that you need to look good. But in today's video, I will be taking you through steps of what I believe are important to finding your style and dressing better in 2023. There's certain looks and certain trends which we need to leave in 2022, okay? 2023 is all about being your true authentic self it's all about living in your purpose and being that woman you've always wanted to be or that man perhaps okay so living in in your true element and being your true authentic self is what 2023 is all about and when it comes to fashion babes you need to look your best okay dress like you're going to see your worst enemy every single day so in this video i'm going to be introducing a little dose of elegance to your wardrobe grab your pen grab your notebook grab a cup of tea grab your glasses of champagne and let's get talking so step one for me which i think is very important and to be honest with you whenever i watch these types of videos i never really see anyone talk about the importance of understanding your body shape okay we all have different body shapes and different sizes so it's very important to differentiate which category you belong in i'm gonna be i'm gonna write down all the different categories of body shapes analyze your body okay are you pear shape are you hourglass so i will write all of these down so study yourself look yourself in the mirror because this will help you to pick the right outfits okay and figure out which areas you want to accentuate which um meaning which parts of your body you want the focus to be on and which parts of your body you want to hide away and another thing that i see a lot of women do is dress for their fantasy body the body that they want to have but don't have yet please let's stop doing this in 2023 uh, it seems like everybody wants the bbl body so everybody's dressing as if they have the bbl body it's okay to have a normal size bum it's okay ladies we don't all need to have big hips it's okay to have small hips it's absolutely fine just learn to love your body and learn to dress for your body if you're quite heavy around the stomach i think you need to be careful about the types of items that you wear so i wouldn't wear like a crop top and then wear like a crop trousers okay you can you can wear like a high crop top and then place yourself with the high crop trousers I'll show you examples as we go along. This will be more flattering to your body shape because the trousers is high-waisted, automatically what that's going to do is bring in your stomach and give you more shape, okay? And then the focus is around your waist because the top is also a high crop top. What should we say, a low crop top? Yeah, it's also a low crop top. Yeah, low crop top. So step two to finding your style and dressing better in 2023 is about finding your aesthetic. Under the aesthetic, I'm going to ask you a question. If you could answer this, how would you describe your style in three words? I'll go first. Mine is casual chic, elegance with a glimpse of an edge okay so so far you understand your body type you have your aesthetic now you need to figure out the color palette which you like okay so under the aesthetic is your color palettes so once you write these down so it could be your news it could be pink maybe you're a bright babe you like your green you like your blue you can still wear these things but it's all about um how it's all about placement and it's all about how you plan your outfits okay and you, you can wear a green from head to toe but it's all about balancing out the colors and balancing out different shapes and different um shades okay and when you're thinking about the color palette that you like you need to think about not just because you like it but it also needs to be flattering I've noticed that some people cannot wear colors like green or red. It doesn't reflect well on their skin. You need to be analytical when you are looking at the palettes. Maybe look at old pictures of yourself when you wore these colors. How did it look on you? You know, how did it reflect on your skin? 
go into your wardrobe and look at all these different colors that you like place them on your skin look yourself in the mirror and see how it looks on your skin okay does it complement your skin tone does it complement your shape these are all the things that you need to pay attention to if you want to look more elegant more put together more chic and better in 2023 moving on step three is all about having a capsule wardrobe I will create a separate video for this, uh, mainly just discussing capsule essentials. I need you to understand the importance of having classic pieces in your wardrobe because trust me, this will make dressing up so much easier for you. And one of the reasons why I hear so many women saying, oh, I don't have anything to wear, I can't find anything to wear, is because your wardrobe is full of junk and you don't have essentials. I'm sorry, ladies. And to be honest with you, this is where I'm at at the minute. I keep finding myself taking forever to find an outfit and I'm like no I'm not being funny but my wardrobe is actually full of things as I'm as I'm a content creator I get a lot of things sent through PR especially clothes and over time things it starts to build up I did have a clear out not too long ago but again I need to do another one this week so you can imagine if you haven't touched something in the last year baby girl it has to go it has to go, it has to go, because there's no point holding on to things. I know sometimes we can all be conservative and want to hold on to things because we've spent an X amount of money on it. Um, if it's a sentimental gift or something, then yes, definitely keep it. But if it's just something that you bought because you liked it at the time, but you've never worn it, I have so many pieces like that. And this year, I have to be strict with myself. Whatever I have not worn in a year has to go. You guys can hold me accountable when I make this video. <laughs> So capsule essentials are basics that you need to elevate your look, okay? For example, there could be bodysuit, denim, a blazer. Every woman needs a nice um, A-line skirt. Every woman needs a nice fitted dress. Something like this that's quite knitted, long sleeve, midi, because you could wear this to any occasion, okay? Every woman needs a nice pair of heels, a nice pair of boots. If you can have one each of all these things, trust me, you will be able to get dressed up super quickly because then when you go shopping you know okay cool if I buy this a-line skirt I've got the right top the right shirt to wear this with at home I've got the right blazer to put on top of this dress I've got the perfect shoes the perfect boots to complete this outfit so it makes even shopping for your new items super easy because you already have the essentials that you need at home Oh, did I mention I'm only sharing five tips? I'll make a second part to this video. I forgot to mention this at the beginning. So the fourth step is figuring out your style inspo. So think about who inspires your fashion. Who are you inspired by? It could be a celebrity, it could be influencer, it could be me, <laughs> it could be anybody. Think about why you like the way they dress, okay? The more you think about your whys, all of these things will really help you to put your outfits together. So to find inspiration, I would advise for you to check out Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok. These are amazing apps where you could save different types of outfits and create folders, combine them all together, allowing your dressing up process or shopping to be a lot more easier. Here you can have like your party looks, you can have your casual looks, you could do like one for evenings, for um, date nights, you could create different different types of looks so you're creating a mood board what this will do is help you with placement so another key element to looking expensive or elevating your look and dressing better in 2023 is all about your placement okay I will create a separate video as we go along in this journey about placement and how placement plays a key factor to bring in your outfit together and another thing under inspo that I think is important is about understanding your lifestyle think about your lifestyle um what's your everyday life like because this will determine that your outfits this will determine excuse me the type of looks that you wear so if for example you're um i don't know at uni your everyday outfits will be quite basic because you're going for more comfort isn't it so for example if you work in the office your look will definitely be smart chic right this will help you to make the right choices when shopping because you know that monday to friday you're at work and your wardrobe will pretty much reflect that and when you're not at work what do you do are you a gym babe so do you go for a lot of coffees or are you a casual dinner kind of person do you like to go to 
um, elegant and sophisticated restaurants, five stars, Michelin stars. Do you see what I mean? So all of this will help you to understand because certain environments requires for you to dress in a certain way right obviously in the way that you are most comfortable in because this year we are all about being our true authentic self and i want you ladies to walk into these restaurants knowing that you have dressed to kill okay so that is the aim of this video to help you put your wardrobe together and to look fabulous in 2023 i will also make a video about the type of shops that you need to stop shopping at and the shops that you need to shop at to look more elevated for your clothing to have more quality and to stand the test of time Number five would be to plan your outfits. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to get planning, planning, planning. For example, I always plan my outfits for my shoots. I plan my outfits when I'm doing the hauls. I plan my outfits if I'm going out for occasions, date nights, to see friends, to see family. I always plan my outfits. If I don't plan it physically, in my head, I know exactly what I'm going to wear. So planning ahead gives you the grace to make mistakes. It also allows you to get the, a feel of the outfit that you want it to create. So now you know maybe the blazer is too tight. I need to balance it out with something that's a bit loose at the bottom. Do you see what I mean? Where if you don't plan something, you just buy it. And then on the day you wear it, you have no time to really pay attention to the cuts and to how this outfit flatters your body um even if you realize that it doesn't flatter your body maybe you have no plan b so you end up just wearing this item because you saw it on the content creator or this um celebrity but now you're out here looking tacky so for example when i go shopping i always take a picture of the things that i like on me so for example if i like a bag i would look at myself in the mirror holding the bag but i would also take a picture because i need to see it from a different angle Right When I come home, if I buy a dress, I need to try the dress on, look at myself in the mirror and take a picture because I need to see it. Do you see what I mean? This allows me to really analyze the look. Okay, is this exactly what I had in mind? Does this flatter my body shape? I know my body shape. So therefore, whenever I buy something, I know what kind of uh, cut it is. I can automatically know that I need to size up. Okay? automatically i know that okay with this i need to size down yes so planning planning your outfits ladies honestly i'm not going to lie to you it's one of the key fundamentals of looking elevated because it gives you the time to really um think about the kind of feel that you want it's always very important to try on your complete outfit so your dress your shoes the bag the accessories that you want this way you get a proper feel of the look that you want and ladies another thing that we must learn to do in 2023 is walk in our heels please so this might as well be like um <laughs> step six please learn to walk in your heels graciously please ladies i've seen too many women not even drunk they are sober and they are struggling if you cannot handle your heels please get something that is a lot more um shorter shorter heels are okay wedges are okay you don't have to wear these 120 heels because everybody else is doing it if you cannot handle it ladies please please stop embarrassing yourself okay i want us to walk within our feminine energy and i want us to be you know our authentic selves be authentic be who you are if you cannot handle heels please don't do it don't do it because it doesn't look nice we can all tell that you are struggling to walk in your heels and it just brings your look down it cheapens it okay so please 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 you must learn to <laughs> You must learn to walk in your heels in 2023. So those were my tips for this part of the video, how to look better in 2023, look elevated and look expensive if you like. So comment down below. Let me know if you agree with the tips that I've given you. What are some of the tips that you apply to always ensure that you look elevated? And yes, let me know what you want to see next within this series. But I'm really excited to, um, to continue this on my channel. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe. Say hey to your girl in the comment section. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, where I share all things fabulous. I'll see you in my next video. Bye now, ladies. Bye.